I've always been an outside kid. Growing up, my school photos, it was really easy to pick me because I was about 17 shades darker than everyone else. I was always outside, always playing sports. Tilly's my best mate. We've been through thick and thin together. She wants to be out on the road like I do. She wants to do the things I want to do. Find a trail and go for a walk, she wants to do that. Go to the beach and go for a surf, she wants to do that. She just wants to be around her people, so it couldn't really be much easier. She's nearly seven now, and we've spent probably three years together on the road. The train runs from Victor Harbour down to Gore, and people used to catch the train down there for the day to go and collect cockles and, and then come back. So it became affectionately known as the cockle train, and that's never changed. We can hear it coming from a long way away, but she knows it's coming before I do. She sort of gets this anxious energy. I have no idea why. Maybe she just thinks it's a big van and she just wants to go for a ride in that too. After seeing Tilly get so excited for so many years, every time she sees the cockle train come through, I thought it was time for her to experience it for herself. So um, I've had a chat with the conductor and he's keen to make Tilly's dream come true. Back. Let's grab those tickets for two. One person, one dog. Perfect. Thanks so much. What is it? In you come. In here. Once we got moving, uh, she was really excited. She was a bit apprehensive at the start, but yeah, once we got moving, she got used to it and she got really excited and she just wanted to climb up on me and wave out the window. Whenever I spend too much time in a house, too much time in the city, I get anxious and I get tense. But then as soon as I hit the road and you get up to those, you know, 100, 110 speeds and there's no traffic, I find that I relax. I feel the tension in my neck disappear and I know immediately that, okay, this is where I want to be. She's eating pretty slow at the moment, actually. <laughs> okay. I've been going to Port Elliot for, well, I'd probably say my whole life. There's a community that I come down here for that whenever I go to the beach, I'll at least see a good, you know, half a dozen to a dozen friends. But then it's just a beautiful place to stay anyway. It's a beautiful coastline. There's fishing, there's surfing, there's trails. And it's got a lot of historical significance for Adelaide. When people refer to dogs having the best lives, I think yes, dogs do have the best lives and she's got a better life than they do. She's got it all right. <laughs>